We are going to be dissecting two different organisms today. We're going to dissect the urchin as well as the sand dollar. I'll show you sand dollar in just a moment. What you can see here on my glove is one of the spines. Um, what you're going to do is you're actually going to pick one of these off uh, and you're going to look at it underneath a dissecting scope. So make sure you obtain one of those. When you're getting ready to dissect your urchin, you want to make sure you note the two different sides, the aboral side, and you can flip it over, and this is the oral side. If you look down inside, you can actually see the uh, white structure, and those are going to be the teeth of Aristotle's lantern. This area right here is called the um, <coughs> peristome. This is going to be where the mouth is, so it's called the area around the mouth, hence uh, the term there. If we flip it back over and we're looking at the opposite side, which is the aboral side. This region here has an area called the paraproct. If you were to go to a doctor called a proctologist, that means they're going to work with the rectal area, and this of course is where you're going to find the rectum as well. So the anus empties out here, and then there's all these plates. So I'm going to move this over to the side, and if you observe here, okay, you can see that this darker large region is going to be the madreporite, and then the center region is the anus, and this region right here is the uh, paraproct, and these would be the uh, genital plates. And on each genital plate, you're going to find a gonopore, which is a hole in which the gametes will be released out of when it's time to spawn. So what I did was I took the urchin, and I inserted the scalpel into one area to crack open the test, all right? And what I did is I did it really close to the paraproct so that I can create the circle around the paraproct. So you would insert the scalpel, and then you would take and cut your scissors around this particular area. So you can see that it's going to be this small little piece that will come off just like that. Okay. Then after I've created that small circle around this area, I went ahead and took my scissors and I went down the sides and then around the center. So I essentially took off a sphere. And once I was done taking the sphere off, you can see this half of the sphere as well as the top half of the sphere, which is going to look like that. You guys understand the difference there? Okay. So when you are done opening this up, inside you're going to find a whole bunch of these structures all lined inside. What do you think these structures are? Those are the gonads, that's right. There's going to be a whole bunch of gonads. Uh, you want to be very, very careful. So what you're going to do is you're going to peel off this top piece and then carefully peel around so that you pull off these particular structures, leaving this all intact. Because as you pull this back, what you want to be able to notice is that this particular little structure right here is the stone canal which is attached on the other side to the madreporite. And a lot of times that breaks off, so you have to be careful about that. What you also have here is the um, anus or the rectum, which is going to empty out here. And if we were to work backwards, we can pull out all the gonads. And then you can see some of the insides where I pulled out this long intestinal tract. So you can see how long this intestinal tract is. Okay. Then what I did was you can look at the siphon of the intestinal, uh, which is located next to the intestinal tract. So if you look closely on the edge of the intestinal tract, there's going to be a little siphon. Sorry, it falls off. Okay, it, it's this little siphon right here. It runs right along the edge. You would have seen that in your pictures. So we're working backwards, and what we have here is going to be the, um, the anus to the intestinal tract which goes into the stomach, which leads to the esophagus, which leads to the pharynx, which is in the middle of this white structure. And the white structure is actually the Aristotle's lantern, which then when you flip it over, leads to this little white structure, which is, of course, the teeth, and this is the peristome. <clears throat> All right, looking at this again, if we had this still intact, the stone canal would lead to and this is the important thing that you guys notice that these, the little brown structure that goes around the top of Aristotle's lantern, that is the um, 